Hello, good morning. So in our last video, we have upgraded our uh, DNAC to 1.2.5 release. Now our DNAC is fully functional and ready to configure. So the first step, we need to configure or integrate our DNAC to ICE. So ICE is the one who is responsible for providing policies to our network or the user. So based on the user authentication, ICE will authorize what kind of uh, access do they have in the network. It is based on the SGTs. So let's go to that in the future videos. But for now, we have to integrate DNAC who is responsible for taking care of the network automation and with ICE who is responsible for providing the policies to the users or the client who is going to connect in the network. So let's see how it is being done. To save some time, I have already integrated our DNAC to the ICE controller. So you see there are some scalable group coming from the ICE SGTs. Go to system settings. So our ICE is already functional, but let me show you how it is done. How it was done, right? So this is our ICE 172.16.54.11 using RADIUS protocol. I have connected and the status is active now. Let me edit and show you what are all the parameters it may need. So you need to provide your IP address, shared secret to generate the certificate and your username password of admin credentials of the ICE. If you are not willing to do the admin uh, username or use the admin username, you can create a new username with admin privilege and uh, maybe as a service account you can say. So you have to create a service account and use that account as a username and password. But it should have an admin privilege. Then you have to use your um, uh, FQDN of the PSN. Then how this DNAC should subscribe to ICE controller. So I want to subscribe in the name of DNAC. So I given the DNAC name. The SSH key and the virtual IPs are optional now for now because we are not using the virtual IP to communicate with the ICE. So I am just leaving them blank. So once I submit this, DNAC will try to establish connection with ICE. And if we go to eyes, I'm just logging in with my eyes, the 54.11, the same IP address which I used here. So I have logged in. Now I come here. If I go to PX Grid Services, Administration PX Grid Services. So first thing you have to see is that your PX Grid Service is functional. It is connected to PX Grid Services. And now when it is trying to establish, you can see that the subscriber name that we have used coming to ICE here and it may be either waiting for approval. Once you give the approve, approve all, it will become, it will activate the session. So the authentication method is happened via self-signed certificate using the passphrase we have given. So at this point, whatever the we have in PX Grid services, it go, it is integrated to our DNAC. Now if I go to, from our dashboard, if I go to scalable group, after the integration, I see all the SGTs is available on ICE is also visible here in the DNAC. So if I want to create one more new SGT now, I click here. So it takes me to the ICE where I can configure the SGT. So currently available SGTs are 18. So the same available if I go to our dashboard, 18 SGTs available. And the same names that what we have, whatever we have seen our DNAC is available here. So the SGTs all are available here will be visible in our DNAC scalable group tab. Okay, so with this our integration is successful. Proceed from here. Thank you.